What's up guys, Sanjot Keer here and today I am here with the one and only Niharika. She is a global sensation, she makes millions laugh but today I want to see if Niharika can cook. Niharika, are you ready to chef it up? Yes sir, I've watched a lot of shows for this moment. Let's do it. Welcome to a brand new IFL series, Licious Presents, Chef It Up. So, in this series, I will be able to recreate my recipe in this series. And today, we are cooking prawn ghee roast served in mini appams. Sounds interesting? I need it. Yeah, very. You have to get each and every component right. Your dish should taste perfect. Our plates should look similar by the end of this challenge. You are not just going to cook today, Niharika. You are going to cook like a professional chef. Yeah, because I am a professional chef. Look at me. But wait, there is yeah, a twist okay. to it. Okay, of course. Guys, just get in here. No! No, 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 way! First of all, I can't cook. On top of that, this divider they put. Is this like a window? Okay, no. There is no window and you cannot peep. So Niharika, this partition is going to be in our beach. You can't see me, I can't see you. You can make my instructions carefully and listen to this whole recipe. How does it feel? I feel betrayed and I just want to go home. I told you I can't cook. Even if you show me how to cook, why are you testing me? I brought the wrong person. 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 Don't worry, by the end of this challenge, you will be able to cook the best prawn ghee roast ever. Hopefully. Yeah. And to raise the heat a little bit for me as well, Niharika, I'm going to let you challenge me also for one component where you can either ask me to be blindfolded, okay. cook with my wrong hand or cook with just one hand. So whenever you're ready with that challenge, with whatever component, just let me know and the challenge will be accepted. Okay. So Niharika, for making prawn heroes, first of all, you have to marinate the prawns. For that, it's very important to be the best quality of prawns. And for that, I always order it from Licious. It is so convenient and they have sea water prawns, fresh water prawns, big prawns, small prawns, all are fresh, not frozen and they are delivered so neatly and hygienically packed. So Niharika, yeah. you have a tray of prawns. So all the prawns are in the bowl. Mein transfer kar dene. Okay. Now these prawns are already de-shelled, de-veined and they are cleaned in RO water. So you can directly use them from the pack. So it saves a lot of time. Now, we have to add some things in it. First, the lemon. Like, just put, dump the lemon and squeeze it. Squeeze it. Just okay. squeeze some lemon into it. Now, a pinch of salt. You know how much a pinch of salt is? Obviously. Don't be generous. Don't add a lot of salt. And add a little bit of turmeric powder into it. And now, you have to just mix everything up really well. I also want to ask you, Niharika, do you usually cook at home? <laughs> yeah, obviously. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you see yourself as a cook? Eight, nine, like eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Okay, so I I need to raise the bar over here. So we. Yeah, you raised it literally, bro. Calm down. Chalo. So Niharika, the marination of the prawns is done. We just need to keep it aside, and now we are going to cook the ghee roast masala. Tada. ठीक है. Just switch on the flame. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. From all the way up, and just go all the way down. It should make a noise. It's making a noise that's scary. Wait, I'll help you. That's it. <laughs> I did the same exact thing. Now we need to add in the spices. So first, this dhaniya hai yahan par, sabut dhaniya. Wo add karna hai. Can you describe what it looks like just for the audience? The green colored balls. Okay. Hindi mein aapko spices nahi pata nahi haare ka. Mujhe English mein bhi nahi pata. Now add in the mustard seeds and the methi. Bro, you could have just said dump everything in. One man thinking I had to tell Chumma for build up. I just wanted to teach you what these ingredients are called. Like I'm going to remember. Now grab a kitchen towel from your drawer and use that kitchen towel to mix everything nicely. Excuse me? What do you mean? You just need to pat it from the top. Like with my hand on the stove? No, no, with the with, with the, the napkin. Yeah. Yes. So the napkin should be in between of your fingers and the pan. And we'll roast them until you know you start to get the aroma of the spices. Fragrance, just, yeah, ani shuruani, hona jana check. 
What's happened to my Hindi Niharika? Yes, it will be done. It will be done. It will be done. So, we have to find it slowly. Do you have to find it? 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 Bhoonna hai. Yeah, I'm bhoonning bro. Can you smell these spices? Woh fragrance aari hai. Yeah. Yes. So next step is, we are going to add these spices to a mixer grinder. So mixer grinding jar le lo. Usse abhi mixer grinder pe aapko fix karna hai. So is your mixer on top of the machine? One second. It's almost there. Yeah. Now take the spices जो आपने भुने हैं अच्छे से, उन्हें इस जार में add कर दो. Now add in the chilies. These are soaked chilies with soaked cashew nuts. Now add in the lasun. The what? Lasun, lasun. Tell the audience in English also so we can be inclusive. Figure it out. Bro, you have to add the lasun and the other two also, no? Yes, you have to. और अभी इमली भी add कर दो. Way ahead of you. Now add in a little bit of water. Wait, wait, how little is little, little? About two spoons. How big is the spoon? You have like 14 sizes of spoons. So don't measure it, come on. No, I need to be precise. You don't understand. This is how you do it precisely, guys. Are you literally measuring each spoon? Of course not. It's not required. Switch on the mixer grinder. From your right side, a blue button. Hai. Oh, okay. I can't hear you. Okay, switch it off, Niharika. Switch it off. Switch it off. So let's check the masala. Just remove the lid very carefully. It should not just splutter on you. Oh, the whole lid? Yeah, the whole lid. Yeah, of course I was removing it. And the masala is done. It should look like a paste. It's looking like a paste. Yeah. A fine paste, I'm yeah. Sure it is. Okay. So masala is done. We need to cook this now. So let's cook this masala. Yes. So just flame go on kar do. Now you have learned how to do that, right? Yeah. Now add in about three big spoons of ghee. And now carefully add this masala into the pan. Bro, I'm so scared it'll do that pat pat thing. No, it won't. It will start to later on. Oh, you're lying to me. I can hear your pat pat. So dheere dheere hoga na wo pat pat. इधर फट फट रही है। So once the masala is added, slowly, very carefully, use your spatula to stir the masala. इसको धीरे-धीरे से cook करना है 10-15 मिनट के लिए। Okay। ठीक है, जब तक कि इसका color और texture change नहीं हो जाता है। So Nihari का have a few questions for you. What would your reaction be to the people who eat dosa with ketchup? Bro, that I feel like you should leave dosa alone. All these com like I've heard of gobi manchuri dosa also, and I think it's so gross. Leave it alone. Have you had fries with ice cream though? That's nice. I dip fries in vanilla ice cream. That's yum. That's weird. That is actually damn yum. Dosa with ketchup is better than fries with ice I cream. I swear to God, try it, guys. If you have a problem with it, that's a you problem. One more pineapple over pizza. I really like it. You like it? I do. I think like people overreact to pineapple. I'll just pick it out. Sati me, ki hamara jo masala hai, wo bhi cook ho chuka hai. Ab dek sakte ho ghee jo hai, alag ho chuka hai. To bhi next part prawns ko cook karte hain, aur fir prawns ghee roast hamara ready ho jayega. Jaanno ke. So Nihari ka abhi prawns ko cook karna hai, bahut hi interesting process hai. Prawns ko cook karna bahut asaan hai, lekin prawns bahut easily overcook bhi ho jate hain. So I am giving you a chef's tip over here. So when you cook the prawns, their shape should be C. It should be O mini convert. C means cooked, O means overcooked. So that's my chef's tip of the day. Yeah, can't see. So switch on the flame and now add in like good amount of ghee. I mean two big spoons, two to three big spoons of ghee. Once the pan is hot enough, just take a tweezer. Okay, and one and one, just place your prawns flat onto the pan. But right now what we are going to do is, it's going to be very quick. Okay. As soon as your prawns start to change shape, just flip them quickly. Okay? Oh my God, you are seeing how professionally I'm flipping though. I'm adding in the masala. One second, I'm still flipping. Come on, Niharika, chef it up. We have to do this quickly. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't put pressure, okay? What are you doing? I was just showing off what, how I was flipping. I'm adding in a little bit of salt. Now add in a pinch of coriander powder. Wait, did you add in your masala? Yes, I did. The red thing, no? Yeah, not all of it, half of it. How can you tell me that right before I'm... Okay. Add in a little bit of salt now. There are too many instructions, okay. How much is a little bit? Pinch, oh? Just two pinches. Add in a little bit of that dhania powder. You need to tell me these instructions clearly. 
My instructions are very clear. So the whole dhania powder or just half of it? A pinch of it. Pinch of dhania powder and a few curry leaves. So what if I put the whole dhania powder? It will be tasty, madam. It will be quick. The prawns will be overcooked. My prawns are done. I'm removing them off the heat. Hold on. No, you didn't. He did not see a pinch of dhania, okay? What's it? She added the whole thing? Now add in a pinch of coriander powder. Add in a little bit of that dhania powder. She added the whole thing? No, I did not. I'm going to taste it in the end so you can't cheat. You have to be really quick. Prawns overcook will be overcooked. Wait, wait. I'm so stressed. Now add in the curry leaves. The whole thing? Yeah, 8 to 10 leaves. Don't count them, just now throw the them in. Now the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And just mix everything well together. Your prawns will cook perfectly. I'm sure they'll be perfect. Yeah. So your prawns also should be cooked until now. Mere to ekdam perfect lag rahe. Mere ko pata nahi aapke kaise lag rahe. Hoping that wo bhi sahi bane honge. Ab last component bacha hai is recipe ka, jo mera sabse favorite component hai. Did you say last component? Yes. Okay, then I think since you had an advantage this whole time, because you're a chef, I'm gonna give you a disadvantage. What? Use your other hand. Only. Okay, you remember the challenge? I thought you forgot and I'll get away with it. Of course I remember the challenge. Use only your left hand. Are you a lefty? I'm a righty. Yeah, use yeah. only your left hand. So guys, I'm only going to use my left hand. Weak hai, thoda sa, dekhte how this goes. Yeah. Dekhte how this goes. Take a spoonful of batter and pour it into the mold. Abhi, ye jo batter hai, isko paint kar dena hai walls ke upar, ekdam artist ki tarah. So, just put the batter on the walls. So, you have to make three or four appams. Let's see how the appams are made from the left hand. Are these looking like mini appams to you? No, they look very thick. But we like it thick. And this is the final one, the fourth one. Now, after all the appams are in your mold, you need to add a few drops of oil. Just add two drops of oil. And now, what you need to do is, in your drawer, there would be a satay stick. A what stick? A satay stick. It's like a bamboo stick. You mean a toothpick? Okay. Toothpick is not this big. Okay, like a long toothpick. Yeah, a long toothpick. Okay. So you use that to just scrape off the ends once your appams are like cooked. How do you remove it with the stick? Like this. What do you mean like this? Like I can see you do it. I know you can't see, but easily निकल जाएंगे निहारे का। इसे एक प्लेट में ट्रांसफर कर दो और similarly सारे appams को आपको डीमोल्ड कर लेना है। और अपनी प्लेट में निकाल लेना है। तुम्हारों के खिलाड़ी। अपम्स कंप्लीट हो गए हैं, बहुत ब्यूटीफुल लग रहे हैं एंड मेरे लेफ्ट हाथ से बनाए हैं गाइस। सो माय चैलेंजेस कंप्लीट निहारे का और होपफुली आपके अपम्स बन गए हो। सारे कंपोनेंट्स रेडी हो गए हैं। लेट्स प्लेट आवर डिश। सबसे पहले अपम लेने मिनी वाले एंड थ्री अपम्स यू हैव टू प्लेट इट ऑन द वुडन लॉग उसके बाद टेक सम मसाला फ्रॉम द बोल जो घीरोश मसाला है प्रॉन्स पे लगा हुआ वो थोड़ा सा लेकर ऐसे अपम के एकदम सेंटर में प्लेट करना है ओके नाउ जस्ट टेक अ प्रॉन विद द ट्वीजर एंड टेल साइड अप you have to just place that prawn on top of the masala. The prawn should be standing. Just plate all the three prawns. And you have pickled onions. Just place like a couple of them. Thoda sa usko aesthetically achha dikhana hai. And just place a couple of the microgreens on top. Done? Yeah, okay. I think I'm done. So Nihare ka, our plates are ready. It's delicious, delicious segment where we are going to see how well you have performed. All right, Niharika, on the count mm -hmm. of three, two, one. Ta-da! Wait, wow. uh, mine's not that bad to look yeah, at. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I think, see, I have more detail. The, the thing is coming out of the, the thing. You know what I mean? Everything's perfect, actually. I think aesthetically, 10 on 10. No she thanks said. to you. But Niharika, one yeah. thing is left. What? There's just take more. this water and now pour the water in oh, the pebble. Whoa! Oh my God, guys, I do this on the daily. That's our plating. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. That is so cool. Now it's time to taste what you have cooked and what I have cooked. I'm ready. Let's switch. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You've done really well. Mm -hmm. Prawns, a little bit overcooked, little bit. 
बहुत अच्छे बने हैं द गीरोस मसाला इज परफेक्ट ओके दिस इज फाइव स्टार प्रेजेंटेशन एट होम यू विल गेट वन प्लेट वन अपम ऑन द साइड वन कोकोनट चटनी दिस इज वन स्मोक एंड ऑल इज कमिंग लव इट आई थिंक यू शुड टेस्ट योर्स आल्सो यू विल बी रियली प्राउड ऑफ योरसेल्फ यार हम्म 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 ग्रेट आई थिंक इट वाज एक्चुअली टोटली गुड आई थॉट इट वाज गोइंग टू बी वेरी टटी It was quite good. So Niharika, the prawns taste really good, and it's so fresh. And when they come straight from the coast, or usme koi bhi chemicals nahi added ho, to prawns bahut tasty lagte hain. And yeah. you can taste that freshness on this plate. And you have performed really well. Thank I'm you. so proud of you. Thank and knowing the fact that you cooked this recipe for the first time, it does not look like that. Thank you for being here in the YFL kitchen, Niharika. Guys, if you want to try this prawn gyros recipe or any other prawn recipe at home. Order fresh prawns from the Licious app or www.licious.com. I love Licious prawns. I know that you are going to love it too. Show some love in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Yes. See you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Ciao. Oh, one more, oh, okay. Cheers. <laughs>